<laughs> Look at this bloke. Couldn't wait two seconds for me to bloody get my shit together. I didn't honestly think we were going to hook up. Oh, wow. Well, nah, he's got me around something. Come on. You're kidding. Dude. <laughs> no way. Hey, good little fish. What a start. Big set, too. <laughs> You're kidding. Get him back in. New chatter baits work, bro. I'll introduce the baits in a second. Shasta so quickly. Ooh. Running some new baits today. I'll give you the lowdown in a sec. That was eating on the drop. <laughs> oh, Mitch, stop it. Good start to the day. He's done it again. All right. Cast back in. Last. Oh, it's a cod. Oh, no way. All right. We'll it's go a over. Mary. We'll go over to the grass for this. He had to come out looking at what that bass was doing. Yep. Man, they've got some stick in them with this man. It's got fresh water. Two casts. I haven't even left the car yet. We're out at the uh, property, Mitch's family property, where he grew up. I haven't even started the video. I haven't even done an intro. I've done nothing. No, I apologise. This will be. I won't do it again. <laughs> That's, go get your boots because <laughs> I don't think they're done. <laughs> this gorgeous little cod. Alright, I'm gonna let him go. Dude, can we stop for a second? Yeah, yeah I'm done. <laughs> G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Michelinus Brown, man, we're back up the creeks, we're back up at his home turf. I don't know if I'll put the footage first before this, do this quickly. <laughs> I was still unloading the car and he went down and hit the causeway and banged a bass and then a cod, two in two casts, <laughs> like ridiculous. I don't know, I'll see how it plays out, but we're going fishing, it's bass fishing. We've had that big rain event, it's been flooded, it's finally come back down, the water's clear, it's up a couple foot, That's it's like, nice. it's prime as. And I'm nearly at 10K subs, so thanks to everyone for subbing, watching, supporting the channel. Let's do this. Oh man. <laughs> All right, I don't know if you can hear me over the rapids, but I'm starting off throwing this K-Shin blade. A couple new lures I'm trialing out. I'll give you a better intro, like I said, when it's probably a bit quieter and uh, I can show you what's going on, but this pool looks too good not to fish. there's not a fish in that pool. Let me throw that hide up 70F. It's 
This is another one of those new baits I was talking about. A little HU70, hide up 70. A little crankbait, shallow running. Check your drag. Sexy looking bait. Yep. Got him? Yep. Change of baits, man. Mix it. It's a good fish. Oh, oh no. Oh, just got him over that. That's a good bass. He's using that? the current, man. Change of baits. Oh, how cool is that, dude? He's one of those genuines. He's a good fish. Yes! <laughs> Mixed it up, man. Look at that. On the HU70. Alright, I gotta hold my bass. Look at that. First bass of the session. Perfect specimen. Nice dark colour. Fins are just. Oh man. That's just a quality creek bass. Just on that HU70. Little shallow runner. On the loose, Mark Crush. It's a heavier rod, and I was going to bring a jig, but uh, I thought I'd tie a crank on it. Yeah, that's a great start. I'll take that any day of the week. <laughs> yeah, what a start. That's sick. It was definitely on last time because I, I got zap testing it. <laughs> I love Lantana. I still haven't got one on that Kai Shin blade. I'll go with the crank. Got to be a rat bass in there, surely. Perfect bait for this sort of stuff. Yep. Oh, had him. And again, and again. Is he going to follow it there? Oh, he's a good bass. Oh, there's going to be a little rat bass, man. He's a 40. Damn. Bottom end of the pool. Oh, dude. I was waiting for him to come following, eh? You could just see that perfect clear water lit up with sun. No. He's, he's had enough. Yeah, well, let's catch a fish. Snake? No. What? That was a fish eating. Really? In there, look at all the dirty water coming out. That was a big explosion up underneath that grass. Look at all the dirty water flowing through. Wow. That scared the shit out of me. We just said about cast and walking through that. Uh, let's give you a quick look at the bait. So what I've been running so far is that hide up HU70, little shallow run and crank, and that Kai Shin Blade. It's a 3 8 ounce, and I've got a smoking swimmer. Three inch in the white, no, four inch, sorry, that's the bigger one. Awesome baits. Like I said, just testing them out for the first time. Already catching fish. Yeah, pretty impressed. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, I'm fully wet. <laughs> oh. Oh, yep. Yeah. Little guy. Little bass. Oh, get out of that tree. Oh no, that's that tree. Remember Reynolds got done on that tree? Yeah. Oh, was that when I was here? Or? Yeah. 
Oh no, he's in that tree. Oh, he's gone. That is exactly what happened that time we were here with Reynolds, man. He got in that little tree and got off. Peak bite time, storm rolling in. Come on. Yeah, I'm expecting at least get tapped by little guys. Did it, did it, you know? All right, so let's do this again. Didn't hit the chatter. Hit the hard body. You just hard press to think that that bait's not going past fish. Yeah, right. We'll find him. We'll find him. Got to have a throw down here. Can't say no. There is some rumble in those hills, man. Oh, Mitch. Top water. Good bass. Oh, dude, that is a big bass. He hit it twice and missed it. Saw him dart under it and boom. Give me that for a sec. He's deep. There you go, guys. It's a solid fish. Proper chunky. Actually, interesting to see what he measures. Let's put him on the mat, eh? Yeah, maybe 40. Yeah, 40. 45 tip. 43. 43 40, yeah. yeah, 43 forker. Give me another look at it. Pencil bait. Top water bait. It's a sexy little bait, too. Yeah, nice bass. Oh. All right, Mitch has got the first fish on top water. I've gone to a hide up pile on 84. Nice little walk the dog bait. Let's go. <laughs> oh, and I landed right near you. <laughs> you oh, Mitch. A bit of stick though. Man, he made a commotion eating that thing. He's not, he's not, he's not a rat by any stand. Another one on the pylon. Same again. That storm brewing, man. It might have flicked the switch. He slammed that bait, eh? He wanted it. Oh! Did you raise one? No, nah, the lightning. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. He's a dog on a short leash. That was sick. <laughs> the flash of lightning is what I was pouring about. I don't worry about it. And then this guy. Come along, he's only just pinned. Let's get him up. There he is. Yeah, only a little bass. Just crunched that pile on 84 right in front of me. This storm's about to hit. There's lightning starting to crack. Thunder's rolling through. Yeah, I think the switch has been flicked. Yeah, the bass. Big white boy, man. They love him. Yeah, that white's the colour on. Wow, look how dark it is straight out of the water. <laughs> oh, dude. Do you feel that? That air change? Yeah, slightly. That's three fish out of here. That's good enough. Four. Three. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. That I'm not going to be surprised if 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 I
<laughs> Let's get closer to that bit of shelter. Oh, this is that bloody Sparky boy. That was nowhere near, I can't even see. It's like it's dark already. You want to be ready to hit that, hit that old dairy soon, Mitch. Oh, it's getting wild, dude. I'm having to cast this still. Oh, there's the front. Holy heck, man. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see, but this storm is about to hit hard. We're in the old dairy. There's lightning and shit out there, man, so we're not messing with it. We're ready, cabbie style. Rode out the storm in a haunted old dairy. It's full on, man. It's like shit making noises. Look at that sky. But uh, seriously, we just rode out that storm. Lightning was like cracking right on the ridge line here. Like it was, it was only a short little storm. It was pretty intense for a second there. And now the sky is just lit up in orange. I don't know if this camera does it justice, but we're giving it five more minutes. Go out, hit this hole in front of us. Got another big hole to stop stream. That'll take us through into dark. It'd be typical, you know, I'll end up having a headlight, headlamp, headlight on. But these big bass typically feed in the dark, so. Yeah, we'll back to it in a second. In the haunted dairy. Woo! <laughs> All right, let's do this. Still a bit of rain, but that storm's passed. Got that mad sky, man. Just burnt orange. Oh shit. It already looks dark on the GoPro, man. <laughs> I don't know what you can see. Oh, well, you can see that lightning. Man, you just no idea where it's going. Whoa. I'm gonna throw that kaish in. Yeah, there's times when you're a fisherman when you probably shouldn't be fishing. But like I said, it's past. That lightning stuff's beyond us now, but it's pretty wild still. All right, give us one more fish, eh? I think that'll be fair. You might not be seeing much, but at least you'll uh, be getting some of that audio. Whoa, man. That was above us. Got that little flurry before the storm hit, and now, sulky sulk. No, no, no. Oh, no, I just buried it in there, too. I'm like, whoa, dude. It's going to be deep there, too, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a shallow bit there, but it's still going to be a drop-off. Take it with me, try and poke it off. Might be pleasantly surprised, he reckons. Oh, it's bloody miles out. It's going to drop off here. Here it goes. Oh, it's going. Oh, yeah, I'm on. Yep, I'm on. I was like, well, I'm out here now. I might as well have a cast. I threw up out there. I got a little bass. A tiny little bass. <laughs> I 
Yeah, just ate that little kai shin, little smoke and shad four inch on the back end. I'll take that. It's been kind of tough, but I'll take that. All right, guys, you can't see me. Probably can't see what I'm doing. There's my hands. Anyway, we're done. That'll do us. Thanks for the support on the channel. Nearly that 10k subs. I appreciate all you guys. Look at this. Is that for a big toad? Hey? Come to Queensland. Ur, ur, ur. Dairy. Woo.